Okay, uh, hey, um, this, uh, I just wanted to uh, just record a video uh, in which I want to show how I have used pods to have the user fill in uh, some information about a student uh, or multiple students in the back end and have this information displayed in a tabular format on the front end. So uh, we are basically trying to uh, replace what is currently here, but in this case, each uh, each tab's content has been entered in a uh, widget content. That is what the user has written. So right now, I use widget content to do this within a table. I would like to be able to set up custom post types for her to fill in and have it formatted. Okay. So essentially you click on this, you can see uh, this photo of the student and then you can, these are like uh, fixed headings. These are common for all the students. And then uh, this uh, data changes for Alison, it is something else, for Alisa, it is something else. But essentially the photo changes and then all these, um, you know, the values of these fields, my equine friend, what we do together, etc. they change. So the way that I did this in pods is um, essentially I went to Okay, uh, so first thing what I did is I went to, uh, po I installed pods and then I went to add new and then I clicked on create new and then here I've selected advanced content type, okay, and uh, so the, the plural label that I've given is students and the singular name is uh, student. And I've created these, I, I did not uh, mess around with the default fields, uh, name, date created, date modified, author and permalink. I just left them as they are and then I've created these extra fields. Um, my equine friend, what we do together, feature goals, my testimonial and photo. So essentially all these things are what are, uh, you know, here. The one, two, three, four and five. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> So the field type I've selected as what you see is what you get. It's uh, really up to you. We can change that to a simple plain text uh, field uh, or a paragraph. And photo would be of the type uh, file image video. Okay, so once I've created these uh, fields in the part, I went to advanced options and then uh, I just uh, uploaded a image a small 16 by 16 image uh, and I uploaded that to the media library copied the URL and then I kept that as the menu icon uh, URL so that you know you see this little uh, little icon next to students it just looks makes it look good okay then I went to students add new and then I I have uh, created a couple of um, a couple of records Okay, a couple of student records. So let me show you that. Okay, so I, I just went ahead and entered the details for the first two students, Abby and Allison. If you um, if you click on Abby, you can see that um, the name I've given is A B B Y Abby. The permalink gets automatically generated, and I just basically copied these uh, uh, values, this these text, and put into the appropriate uh, fields, my equine friend, what we do together, like that, okay, and I have uh, just downloaded this image, I saved it on my computer and then I clicked on add file for the photo and I just uploaded that and selected that and I have saved the student and similarly I have done that for the second student as well, Allison, <coughs> okay, so then, um, what I've done is I went into Pods Admin Components and I have activated uh, or enabled the uh, templates component and then once you enable that under components you will see templates so I went there 
and then I created a new template add new by clicking add new called student underscore detail <coughs> put the code which we want to show in the individual tab so, uh, uh, in a div having a class of my left I have said image src equal to uh, within the flower brackets at photo underscore guid so for the photo video uh, file kind of field you got to put dot guid at the end to actually fetch the uh, URL of that particular uh, entity and since it's an image we can use the img uh, html tag to display that image okay and since I want this on the left side I want this on the left side I've just put this in a div having a class of my left and on the right side I want all this information so I've created div uh, created a div having a class of my right and within the div for the time being temporarily I've just uh, you know put in the table thing which I <clears throat> basically examined this existing web page content using firebug and I just copied the entire existing uh, table and then I just replaced the values with uh, the placeholders so uh, whichever is the uh, you know value of my equine friend for uh, for the first user which is you know this Vega seven year old blah 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 so that will be dynamically replaced uh, and or dynamically be shown wherever we put this particular magic tag so it's just basically a flower brackets and within flower brackets at the rate whatever is the uh, name of the custom name of the field okay but in ideal scenario there is no need to use table for displaying this kind of data we can just basically use um, divs and use CSS to do this better okay and if you take a look at the CSS so I just said my left uh, float to the left and set it a width of 40 percent that is the left portion of the left column and for the right column I am floating it to the right having a width of 60 percent okay then uh, what I've done is I went to uh, I installed the tabber widget plugin from iThemes and then after installing that it would appear under my theme my theme and tabber widgets so I went there and then I created a new tabber having six widgets because there are six students one two three four five six okay and then I've selected the template as basic light and I've just given the tab titles as uh, the uh, whatever are the names of the students that should appear here okay so after that I went ahead and edited my layout and created a widget bar uh, which has one column and I went into the appearance widget section of that particular layout and okay yeah so because we have installed the tabber widget and uh, since we have created six uh, uh, six tabbers or uh, six widgets within that uh, individual tabber it's gonna show all those six widgets here and uh, I have just dragged a standard text widget and then I have put the short code uh, which basically says that uh, you know pods that is the main thing and name equal to students this is the name of the particular pod uh, and slug equal to abby so here we could have given slug or we could have given id uh, id equal to 0 id equal to 1 like that but since it's easy to just you know figure out what uh, this particular thing is going to return I just use slug and for the template I said use the template student underscore details so this is the template which has that code uh, that will show the content of the or the values of the fields in the left and right columns okay 
so that is what I just copied the same thing again <clears throat> and I kept it in the okay yeah so see this is one way of doing it basically we can use a text widget and then we can um, we can just use a short code like this and the second method is that uh, when you install pods it's gonna have it's gonna make it's gonna make available a widget called pods single item so simply drag that here and then select the pod type as student and then give the slugger ID in this case it's Allison the second student and select the template so it's essentially uh, doing the same thing as what we did using a uh, short code in the text widget you can use either method both will work fine and just for the simplicity sake I've just done two of these but you could you should go ahead and do the rest remaining four students as well so and then uh, for the uh, widget bar modules uh, sidebar in that sidebar I've basically dragged the tabber widget and I've selected the uh, students tabber widget okay so now the result it's gonna look like this okay so this is the uh, first information about the first student and this is the information about the second student I have added some uh, CSS to basically ensure that uh, the tab titles are visible and also uh, I wrote this float left for this particular selector because if you don't do that uh, let's see see what happens so for some reason the the background this little light pink background is not gonna you know extend to the full height and so you got to float it to the left yeah so that's it so essentially to summarize what I have done uh, you go to pod and then you got to create a new advanced uh, custom uh, content type and call it students or whatever you want to refer the pod as and add the required fields so the required fields would be my equine friend, what we do together, feature goals, my testimonial, and a photo. And then go ahead and uh, you know add uh, records, add students, how many ever you want to show. In this case, it's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and add six students, fill in all the details, upload the photo, save all the st six students' records. Then uh, you go to components and parts, and then you enable that templates uh, component and uh, you create a new new template and in that template you basically put together the uh, HTML or the code uh, that should basically you know be shown uh, in the individual tabs of the tab okay so you wherever uh, you, you can use these what you call uh, magic tags uh, that is nothing but you know within flower brackets you just put ampersand followed by the uh, name of the uh, pods field so that's going to dynamically uh, output the value in the runtime uh, as the brow browser renders the thing and uh, and then you got to go ahead and install the tabber widget and then go to my theme tabber widget and then create a new tabber with how many other tabs you want in this case it is six and give the titles of those six tabs um, and then go to the uh, go ahead and create a new widget uh, bar module in the layout editor and then go to appearance widgets of that particular layout and uh, you'll find six tabs uh, six widgets sorry so in each of those widgets you can just either use a text widget or you can use the uh, single pod item uh, widget and uh, just go ahead and select each student uh, each student in those individual separate six widgets and then you drag the tabber widget into the uh, sidebar of that widget bar module and it's going to show all the individual students as tabs like this okay so that's it hope you found this helpful